Just inside the Alberta BC border, northwest of Coleman and about 10 kilometers along the trail to Window Mountain Lake, both access routes remain closed. This after a bear attack left a hiker with serious injuries Friday. There were um, extensive injuries. The person was unable to uh, get themselves out of the situation. The rescue operation using two helicopters to evacuate the man in his 40s. But why the attack happened or whether it was a black or grizzly bear involved is still unclear. Meanwhile, fish and wildlife officers continue their search for a sow grizzly with three cubs involved in a bear attack two weeks ago that left a local hunter with serious injuries. And it's almost exactly 20 years since Fran Nikoluk survived her own attack in the crow's nest not far from Friday's incident. You look around you and all of a sudden, here's a bear coming like a freight train through the bush and, you know, what do you do? That attack left her too with serious injuries, wounds and trauma that took years to heal, but an event she somehow sensed was coming. Because you're in the bush, you actually expect to just, you know, have things happen. See, we were used to being out there and we were seeing more and more grizzly signs. It is a common time of year for bear encounters in Alberta with animals fattening up for winter. It doesn't mean that they're more likely to hurt people, but it does mean that they're very active out in their environment. So for us, it's really important for us to make lots of noise when we're out there on, the, on those trails. And that has RCMP and conservationists calling for Albertans to take extra precautions as hunting seasons bring more people to the remote areas. Make sure that you have an emergency SOS device. Make sure that you tell someone that you trust where you're going, as well as your approximate uh, leave time and then arrival and departure. Coming up on Global News at 6 Sunday, we'll hear more of Nicolette's story, how she's processing the trauma more than two decades later, as well as how that relates to bear management in Alberta. Sarah Offen, Global News.